Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Here we go. It's time to get a crushing spirit with occultism because we need that. So you're going to need demon dream seeds. You're going to need a book and that will give you your dictionary of spirits. How do you get the, how do you get the demon's dream seeds? You're going to go break a bunch of grass blocks with grass on top and eventually you'll get your demon dream seeds. From that, you're going to go over to a place where you want to, you know, create farmland, whatever. Add your water, use your hoe, and put your demon's dream down. It does work with bone mill. So just straight up bone mill that up. And that will give you more seeds and demon dream fruit. Now you're going to grab, you need spirit fire. You're going to grab your demon dream fruit, traff it, you place it down on the ground, Turn it on fire and now it's purple fire and this is spirit fire it never goes out you don't actually need netherrack at least not in line then you're gonna grab some oak saplings toss it in and they become unstable other world saplings then you're gonna go ahead and plant those they cannot be put next to blocks they won't work but if you put them one away there you go they work and it looks like an oak log but once you've eaten the dream fruit sometimes it doesn't work at first you have to try another one so let's go one more time then you can grab an axe and only while you're in this weird really dizzying state you can grab them then you're going to take andesite you're going to toss it in and that is going to give you your other stone and then yeah now you're gonna have your other log, your, you're gonna have your other wood logs, you're gonna have your other stone. With your other stone, you are going to get some sacrificial bowls. They're basically like creating a minecart. And then you're gonna get the one with the gold, your golden sacrificial bowl, which is the important one. And then you're gonna need to get some burnt other stone, which is other stone that has been burnt in a smelter, right? Super simple. Then you're gonna get other wood, and that's just other word that's been tossed into the flames, and they become other word at other world ashes. Then you grab three of those, three of those. That's gonna give you impure white chalk. With that, you're going to grab those, take it over to your spirit fire, and toss it in. Now you're probably gonna need a bunch of these if you plan on doing much of it. They can be enchanted. I recommend mending and unbreaking. And then once you have that, it's time to get some candles. Now you can get candles by getting tallow. And there you go. You can get animal candles. And that is by killing pigs, cows, horses, sheep, llamas with a butcher's knife. Or I think a sword works too. And then you're going to go into your book. Go to the area VR circle. If you look up, it goes up. If you look down, it goes down. So you go find a spot that you want to put it, then you're going to right click and it'll stay right where you want. Then you get your candles, you put them where they go. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to grab your golden sacrificial bowl. You're going to grab your four other sacrificial bowls and then you're going to get your chalk and you're going to go and get all of these little markings on the ground. And I really do like the sound of that. It sounds so lovely. It's just like, ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, it's great. And then once you're done, it'll have a green complete sign and you can get started with your ritual. You're gonna get some raw gold, raw copper, raw silver, and raw iron. Then you're gonna get a book of binding phalliot, but, and to get that, you need purified ink. That's black dye put into spirit fire, becomes pur purified ink. And, oh wait, it doesn't work even though you have your book. What do you need? You need to grab your book and you need to bind it to your Dictionary of Spirits. You get your Dictionary of Spirits back. Everything is bound. Now you can go complete it. Now it does take a long time for these to all get eaten up. So I'm gonna speed up this process by like a lot. And then, you get your little demon. Now you can go up to him and you can say, hello, dude, how are you doing, buddy? 
you can give him some obsidian. You can also go, you can right click him and go into his box and then put in that. Eventually you're going to get obsidian dust. And then from that point, what do you do with that? You put it into your infusing factory with diamond dust. And then eventually you'll get refined obsidian dust. Then you can put that in your other things. And then you also, another thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to get an osmium compressor, get some osmium or refined obsidian, put it into that. That's going to get you chunks. And then you're going to want to get some bees. And the bees are where it's at because you want infinite refined obsidian.